really good question where an Articulate presenter user asked, is there a way to change PowerPoint's default animation settings that you see over here in the custom animation pane? So like, let's just say I wanted to have my animation effects default to the settings that I've applied to this particular image right here. I've got a fade in effect, it's set to start on click, and I've got the speed set to fast. And so what I would like is for every time I apply an animation, I'd like to use these settings. So I don't have to go in and adjust every one of these items one at a time, right? Well, in PowerPoint, there's not really a way to change the defaults, but if you're working with images, here's one thing in PowerPoint 2007 that might help. What I can do is apply the settings to one image, like I've done here in this top image of the Apple, and then whenever I want to add another image with those same animation settings, what I can do is copy the image. So I'm just going to hold down my control key and drag to create a new copy of that picture. And then I can just swap out the picture itself. And you can see over here that the animations are going to stay intact. So I've got the animations applied to that image. And then if I want to add a different image instead of this one, I right click, choose change picture, and then select the image that I want to use and that new image drops right in and the animation effects over here are still all set. You can also do a similar thing to shapes that you draw. So for example, with this rounded rectangle that I've got right here, I've applied a few animation effects over here in the custom animations pane. And if I wanna use those same animation effects on a different shape that I wanna draw, what I can do is control drag to create a new version of that shape. So there's the, the new shape with the animations you know, still applied. Those came right along with the new shape. And now what I can do to change this to a different shape if I want to is select the Format tab and then choose the Shapes drop down, select Change Shape, and then I can change that to whatever shape I want to. So like if I want to maybe add a straight-sided rectangle instead of a rounded one, I can do that and then you know resize it or move it however I need to, and the animations um, stay intact. So that's one approach in PowerPoint 2007. Now, if you're working in PowerPoint 2010, there is another way that's probably gonna save you a little bit of time. It's a new feature called the Animation Painter. So I'd like to show you that too. What you can do is apply animations that you want to one object. It can be an image or a shape that you've drawn or a text box, it really doesn't matter what. And in this example, I've animated this third image right here of the apple. And then what you can do is copy the same animations that you've applied to that image. So everything I've applied over here, um, I can um, copy that the same set of animations to anything else on my slide. And the way that we do that is select the image, come up to the Animations tab, and then choose this option called Animation Painter. And once I do that, you'll see that my cursor changes to this little paintbrush icon. And now I can click anything else on my slide and that same set of animations is going to carry over to whatever I click. So you can see that I click this top image of the apple and here are the animations that applied to the apple. Now, if I want to apply the same animation to several objects, what I can do is select the object I wanna copy from and then double click the animation painter. And now I can carry that same set of animations to as many objects as, as I want. So I can click on this image of the apple, I can click on a drawn shape like my rounded rectangle. I can even click on this text box that I've placed over top of my shape. Anything that I want, I can go ahead and continue to apply animations to those items. And then when I'm finished, I can turn off the animation painter by just clicking on the option again or hitting my escape key and then my cursor goes back to normal. So those are a couple ways you can reapply your animation work in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint 2007, it involves you know, swapping out the item that you copy. And then PowerPoint 2007 or PowerPoint 2010, you can use this cool new feature called the Animation Painter.